I went to Albion College, um, uh, was not the greatest student, didn't know what I wanted to do when I got out of college, um, and one of the only skills that I had that may have been sort of inherited from my father, who was a newspaper columnist, was I could write. I decided I wanted to do something different with my life uh, after 22 years in newspapers, but I basically wanted to try something else before I got so old that no one would hire me. And, and I. Uh, I uh, had worked with the Michigan Environmental Council uh, as, as a newspaper reporter and had a lot, of, um, a lot of respect for them. The communications position opened up and I knew the boss and we had coffee and she hired me over coffee. And the next person who got hired was a development associate and, and uh, the policy wonks at the Michigan Environmental Council laid out all the resumes on the table and they had these scoring and flow charts and the kind of things Wendy would have, you know, <laughs> and they were like, oh, you know, two points off for a typo in their cover letter, and, you know, uh, plus two points because they have this, they had this internship, and plus three points because they, you know, because, they, and I was like, I would have never been hired there. You know, there are 20% of the people who are avowed liberals and tree huggers who are going to agree with us anyway. There are 20% of the people who are Tea Party wackos who aren't going to agree with us. I don't care about those people. I mean, I do care about my friends, but they're going to be with me anyway. Uh, but then there's the 60 or 50% in the middle, and those are the people you have to win over. And you can't do that by being overly partisan, uh, by being wacko. You know, the traditional way of Communicating with the media is by issuing a press release and sending it out. Well, you know, that's fine, and, and we do that, you know, fairly regularly. Um, but that's that's got to be supplemented by sort of face-to-face -face communications. And I don't mean sitting down necessarily with people, with reporters, although I do, but, um, you know, calling them and developing relationships with them. And, and I think that's more important than the quality or frequency of your press statements or whatnot, because they don't care about your press release, but they might care about you, and if you care about them, you know what they need. When we work in big coalitions, when we decide that the Sierra Club, the Clean Water Action, the Ecology Center, and, and these other groups are all going to be on the same press release, or, or it's part of a campaign, like our big water or energy campaigns, I'm the central guy who's got to write that press release. Okay, and, and writing that press release is like having six or seven editors, all with different ideas. And, and, and I'm the guy who's got to kind of finesse all that into a press release that's acceptable to all these organizations. We want to pitch something. You know, we'll have the president of the Michigan Environmental Council, the president of the Chamber of Commerce, jointly co-author that op-ed, and people will take notice of people. Environmentalists and the chamber support this. What's well, not to like, you know? So getting the right messengers is, is very important. But I listen to Rush Limbaugh. You know, I turn on Fox News. I listen to uh, uh, Frank Beckman from WJR. I have the right wing blogs on my blog list, and I try to read their environmental stuff. It drives me crazy. It raises my blood pressure. It makes me nuts. But at least I know what the arguments are on the other side. Writing is a really important skill to have, just in general. I cannot stress uh, for you how important it is to be able to, to, to put your thoughts concisely and to not get lost in the weeds on issues.